Hi boys and girls, today we're going to read a new story and it's called Widget and it was written by Rostier McFarland and the pictures are by Jim McFarland and today while we're reading this story, um, Widget is a little dog without a home. He finds a house that seems like the perfect place to move. There is only one problem though. So let's read to find out what it is. As we're reading this story, I want you to think about the main character's character traits. And remember, when we're talking about character traits, we're not talking about what, it, what the dog looks like, right? We're talking about, is he happy? Is he sad? Is he lonesome? Okay, so be thinking of some character traits for the main character. Widget was a little stray dog. He had no home. He had no friends. Hmm, I'm thinking, what is Widget like? I think that he's lonesome. And I'm thinking that he's lonesome because he's all alone. He has no home and he has no friends. So to me, that would make him lonesome, which would be his character trait. He was very sad and lonely. He was cold and hungry too. He saw a house at the end of a road. There was a door just his size. He peeked inside. He saw six cats, six warm beds, and six bowls of hot food. I'm looking right here and I notice that there's commas after cats and beds. And this lets us as readers know that this is a list of things and each gets separated by a comma. Widget dove for the food and straight into Mrs. Diggs. Why, you poor thing, said Mrs. Diggs. I wish you could stay, but I'm afraid the girls just can't stand dogs. I'm noticing here that right down here, the author wrote has a capital M and a capital D. And we know that the author put capital letters there because her name is a proper noun and proper nouns need to be capitalized. Widget looked at the girls. He looked at Mrs. Diggs. She seemed so nice. Widget really wanted to stay. Meow, said Widget. Mrs. Widget laughed. Well, girls, she said, what do you think? The girls puffed up. Boys and girls, you know what I'm thinking about which personality trait would best fit Mrs. Diggs? And I'm thinking that she's friendly. And I'm thinking that she's friendly because if we turn back here, she didn't get mad at Widget for coming in, but she picked him up and she was so nice to him. Widget puffed up. The girls hissed and spit. Widget hissed and spit. The girls growled. Widget purred, played with a toy mouse, and used the litter box. The girls stopped growling. They were confused. Widget looked like a dog. He smelled like a dog, but he acted like a cat. Mrs. Diggs set down a bowl for Widget. Widget started eating. He never took his eyes off the girls. The girls started eating. They never took their eyes off Widget. Why, you fit right in, said Mrs. Diggs to Widget.
And Widget did fit right in. From that day on, Widget ran with the girls, played with the girls, and curled up with the girls. In fact, he had so much fun with the girls, he sometimes forgot he was a dog. What do you think Widget's character trait is now? I'm thinking likable because he's the cats are liking him being around. One day, Mrs. Diggs tripped on a toy and fell down. She didn't move. Widget and the girls were worried. They meowed for help. No one came. They screeched, they yelled, they caterwauled for help. No one came. The word caterwauled right here means to make a shrilling, howling, or wailing noise like that of a cat. Then Widget barked for help. The girls were shocked. Then they barked for help too. Everyone came. Mrs. Diggs was saved. I didn't know you had a dog, said a neighbor. Oh, yes, said Mrs. Diggs. It's nice to have a dog. Right, girls? Oh, yes, the girls agreed. Now, what do you think is the best character trait that describes Widget? I'm thinking that he was courageous. And I think he was courageous because he knew that Mrs. Diggs needed help, so he barked like a dog even though he knew that it would kind of blow his cover because the girls, the cats, thought that he was a cat too even though he smelled like a dog and acted like a dog at first. So I want you to talk with your parents. What are What is a character trait that you would use to describe Widget and give some examples from the text? I hope you enjoyed your story. I'll see you soon.